and welcome to, well, the first speed build in like two weeks. Apologies. Um, uh, <laughs> thank you so much. First of all, I just want to get this out of the way. Thank you so much for everyone that left your kind messages of condolence on the community tab and everything. And I read every single one of your comments on there. So thank you so, so much. And um, sometimes, I don't know, sometimes we feel like we're the only person going through anything and we don't realize that we all kind of had the similar experiences. So that really, really did help um, to kind of process it. So thank you so much for um, all of your support and all that stuff. So thank you for sticking around. I'm back now. Um, I'd like to say I was refreshed, uh, but I'm not. <laughs> Um, I kind of wish maybe a half kind of think maybe I shouldn't have taken the time off because I stepped off the treadmill and now it's very difficult to get back on. Um, but we're going to get there. So I needed the whole grieving process. Let me take a little bit of time off. Um, I've done that. I do mentally feel better, but the whole getting back into doing YouTube again, whoa, I kind of wish I hadn't stopped building. I think I wish I had continued to build and just kind of batch, almost batch recorded all of the builds that I'd been promising because, oy vey. Um, all I'm gonna say is this build was, how, how can we phrase this? This build, this interior was like pushing shit up a hill literally that was how difficult this build was and um just if you want to learn from my experiences don't stop something halfway through please always see it through to the end i was so excited when i started this build and i did the exterior granted i told you that i did the exterior like three and a half maybe four times before you, the finished thing came to fruition but um yeah i kind of did that and then straight away i did this apartment that you're watching here there's actually three apartments in this and i did this one straight away and i was like okay and then i decided to take my time off and it was just like that break in creative thinking just has thrown me through a loop like honestly yeah if you're onto a good thing just don't stop <laughs> Uh, but I think once we've got this, now that we've got this one finished, completed, and I can say, okay, I pushed on through, um, the next one, I'm still, I'm, I'm super excited about the next build. So that's a good thing. It's not YouTube in general. That is a struggle bus. It's just this one particular build. I'm someone that doesn't like to go back and revisit old things. Um, I was a designer for my everyday job and boy did i hate client amendments so it's nothing new i've just i had to push on through i really had to push on through to get this one done um but i'm proud we're 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 trying this i suppose this not this year but moving forward one of my like whole you know you have these kind of lifetime goals one of my lifetime goals is to feel the pain and do it anyway which i know is a very famous quote from a very good book, but I can't remember. Maybe it's like the seven, seven signs of highly effective people or something. Is that what it is? I think it is. God, I actually, I need to read that book. Um, Yeah, it's feel the pain and do it, or feel the fear. No, it's feel the fear and do it anyway, isn't it? Not feel the pain, feel the fear. Yeah, the fear, the pain, similar concepts. Um, I did it, so we're happy, even if, it was torture <laughs> i hope i don't think the build has actually turned out to look torturous so yeah don't worry it still looks good but just the process mentally was draining uh but yeah anyway let's actually talk about this build brightchester penthouse it actually consists of three apartments this first one here is kind of more homely I try to keep it more Britishy looking. Um, so it's actually mostly in-game content apart from I think maybe the dining chairs and that fireplace there. I think it's all in-game content. Um, so yeah, it's slightly more Maxis vibes, you know, the kind of 
Um, I see this as maybe an older person, doesn't have a very, very strong sense of style. It's more slightly traditional. Um, then we have another apartment that's the more modern one. I saw that as maybe a younger person. Um, this one I definitely saw as maybe someone that works at the university, lives here. Um, my whole backstory for this Brightchester penthouse was that they were losing money and they had to sell this uh, building to private investors so that uh, they could fund the rest of the university. So this is not part of the university, it's not owned by it, it is a private building, but I thought maybe um, one of the apartments would be lived in by someone that's on the academic staff at the university. I think that would be a very, very good thing. You never know, the university might rent this apartment back for some very important member of staff. I don't know what a member of staff, but they do. Uh, that's what I'm going with. So yeah, we've stuck with the Tudor panelling by Felix Sander. Oh, I totally forgot to say, sidetracked. Um, there is a link in the description box as always, because this build is now complete. It will take you to my Tumblr where I have all of the CC listed out, um, all the sets you're gonna need and also links to it. Um, there is only my CC in this and Felix and a CC, so if you've already got both of our CC collections, um, then you should be good to go and you can plonk this in your game. I love the word plonk, it's such a British word. Um, you can plonk this in your game and you should be a-okay. Um, of course, as always, make sure you have move objects on before you place one of my builds because I use Moo. Moo is on by default in my game, so if you don't place it without Moo on, you're gonna have some severe problems. Also, um, I built this with the intention that you're gonna use the new roommate system. So if you don't know, I, I, I presume this got patched into base game, I think it is a base game thing, that you can now get roommates, I don't think it is just university thing, let me know. Um, you can get roommates, now you can place an ad and get a roommate into any building, so you can have a house with a spare room, as long as there's a bed there, uh, you can get a roommate and they will pay they will pay rent. I know they pay towards the rent in an apartment. I just don't know how they work it out for bills because um, in an apartment, I've only used this system once. In an apartment, they gave money before the rent was due. They gave their share like the day before the rent was gonna come and then the rent came and so, you know, they'd already paid their share. So I don't know how it works in a house. Maybe you can let me know, I haven't done it yet. Also, there was a slight problem with CC bed frames and the whole roommate system. Um, if you didn't know, a error was getting thrown up when you were using roommates. I had it myself, so experienced here. Um, when you're using CC bed frames that are in the bed category, in the catalog, and you're using roommates, or you're using dorms. I think most commonly people were reporting it for dorms, but it's actually um, was a common problem for any time you're using the roommate system because that's what the dorms works on as well, the roommate system. Uh, but yeah, I think I had a roommate with my sim. It was fine. And then um, she went to work. She was actress. She went out onto the lot. And then when she came back, we had the error. And um, I think the problem was I invited, I kicked out the first roommate and invited another one and then it just didn't quite register. It didn't seem to work properly. Um, if you are having this issue and you've had this issue before, the problem is bed frames that are categorized as beds because the lot requirements for roommates or for dorms are that it's you have to have a free bed available and that's a lot requirement i think it's well it's probably hidden if you're just using roommates in a regular build um obvious if you're doing it in dorms but because it's categorized as a bed as the the bed frame is categorized as a bed in the catalog it sees it as a bed but no one can actually sleep in it. it doesn't have the bed function to it and it just throws up this error so if you want to do it yourself, you can just change and move it into a different category using Sims 4 Studio. Uh, that's what you're going to have to do, is move it to a category that isn't bedding. 
that's it. There's actually nothing wrong with the item. It's just, it's got the tag of bedding and it's not a functional bed. Before it was fine, you could do it and use it. Uh, yeah, that's that's the thing. If you're having that and um, the creator hasn't updated it yet, then you can do that yourself using Sims 4 Studio. It's pretty simple to use, just, you know. Um, but yeah, that's the only issue. I had that in mind when I built this. So actually all the beds that were in this are from the game. I think two of them from game, one of them is a recolor by me, but they're all fine. They're not bed frames with separated mattresses. That's where the problem lies. So you should be a-okay to put your sim in here and then get like two other roommates. Also, I saw this maybe as you've got like three couples because they're all one bedroom apartments. Maybe you had three couples here so you could split off and just lock the door because they are completely self-contained units. Uh, they're built just like they were real apartments. You could just lock certain parts of the build off to certain members of the family and all that stuff. Um, so yeah, that's what would, that's that was my thought process. I'm pretty sure I just rambled on really, really ages about bed frames. Please forgive me, but you know, some of you may not even know this is the issue, so just heads up anyway. Um, there was a patch yesterday actually, but I don't think that was included in it. I don't think they are going to be patching that in because I don't think it's really a game bug. More of a CC person's issue, if you get what I mean. Uh, but yeah, anyway, on this one we moved up stairs directly above the first apartment and we've moved on to a modern one I had a very clear vision for this one so when I came back I'd already done the first one before I took my break and this one was the first to do as I came back because I knew what I wanted to do here um, I knew it was gonna be modern so I just had to do it the other one I really just didn't have a clear vision in my mind that's probably why I told you I was on the struggle bus for it it's just that I just didn't have a clear vision um, so yeah I had a clearer one for that for this one so I started on this and yeah it's lots of kitchen stuff um, we've got lots of Felix Sander in here I've it's got lot it's white walls with like dark furnishings which I'm, I'm definitely a fan of it um, the third apartment is kind of light walls and light floor but this one's a bit more moody. I definitely saw this as more of a modern, um, sort of not modern, a younger person living in this one rather than the downstairs. I see it as more mature. Even an elder maybe living downstairs in that first apartment we showed, um, but more of a professional. They can be slightly older, but definitely a professional. They've had success in their life and they're in this fabulous apartment. I, I wouldn't complain if I lived in an apartment that looked like this anyway. So. But yeah, how has everyone been in this, um, in this like, what, two weeks I've been gone? I released my video showcasing the build challenge that's gonna be on the channel, so I'm so excited. The first few um, entries are up on the gallery. I saw them coming in and I was like, yay! People actually did my build challenge. Um, so I'm gonna go and answer all the comments that were on that video as well. Um, so definitely go and check that out. That was the last video I did if you haven't seen it already. Um, I would love you guys to take part. It's a build challenge for people that UCC and for people that don't UCC. So um, yeah, I'm just, I'm just excited to see what um, what there is to come from this. I'm, I'm, I'm definitely excited to steal some of your techniques from <laughs> Um, that's 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 all I did really but it was for celebrating 20k but we did hit 20k like maybe a month or so ago so I'm a little bit slow on doing the build challenge also you know when you put something off because you think it's gonna be really difficult and then you do it and you're like mm, that wasn't so difficult that was this build challenge so i would definitely be doing more in the future for any other milestones we hit or maybe you guys will just like one every once in a while. So um, yeah, I'm definitely going to be doing like more of those in the future. So it's the heads up for that one. And oh, in this build, I've actually managed to keep in all of the bathrooms. You know, I normally only leave one bathroom in and cut out all the others. I have kept in every single bathroom in this place. So if you, you want any you know hints and tips on to do bathrooms <laughs> this, this this is the video for you um i did promise i was going to keep in the floor plan and i didn't 
because I did the floor plan and then I stopped recording and I extensively changed stuff and I was like well there's no point in showing the first one <laughs> if I only go and change it anyway so I cut that out hopefully in my townhouse that I'm doing oh yeah spoiler alert um the next build up should be a townhouse I'm gonna be completely honest because I was on the struggle bus so much with this build um this took me a lot longer than it normally would so I've kind of eaten into my time that I should really be spending on the townhouse. It hasn't started yet and it's meant to be up for Sunday. Normally I would have already started it by now. Um, so fingers crossed we managed to pull it out of the bag and get that all completed. But yeah, the townhouse is next. I'm super, 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 super excited about the townhouse. Um, it's going to kind of match but not be the same as the first townhouse we did but I found an interior for it ages ago and the last month's uh Patreon rewards and Felix Xander that you'll see there those sofas they're like just like the sofas in the reference material that I found and I was just like oh. I've been looking forward to this townhouse build for like a good solid three weeks maybe since I found that reference material so I think you can tell I'm excited to be back we just needed to get this one thing out of the way and then we're good to go I must say like I still struggled all the way through this um, and then I got to the end you'll see at the very end I think I'll say it now because probably towards the end I'll just be saying bye and running but um, there's new windows and doors and I s decided like Tudor style I decided to put those in after I'd done the whole entire interior I decided to put them into this apartment and I could have kicked myself because I put them in and then they were just so inspiring to me I was like why did I not put these these doors and door frames in first why like actually why because it would have made my life like so much easy you know when you're just like you fool you but everything in life is like a learning experience so we definitely learn from that one never to do that again um but yeah this one is kind of lighter brighter we've got a mix of kind of light light to medium tone woods um again using the same flooring that we've got throughout the rest of the build i i've got to say the get famous floor that is on there now it's meant to be some like cowboy western floor it's just oh, almost swore then actually i almost dropped an f-bomb <laughs> it's just gorgeous like you know you know when you're just like oh could they make every item as great as this the floor just ticks every box for me apart from the fact that there's two red tones, one slightly more grey and one slightly more red, -y, red in it. So there's two red tones. There's this yellow tone, there's the dark one, love it. Then there's a grey tone actually that I don't think I've ever used in a build, just grey. I don't tend to use just grey floors. Anyway, but I'd love it in more wood tones. And the only thing is, I, if I recoloured it, it wouldn't be so multi-dimensional. It's like you need the original file to keep it this multi-dimensional. You can see there's different wood tones in it two different colors and just when you recolor it it would just end up being a flat color and i'm just all the great charm would kind of be taken out of it so it's the only reason i haven't recolored it because the floor is just hot diggity damn like gorgeous also can i just say that these curtains i just put in are from discover university and i actually like them i know it's like i really really like them I wish those come in different lengths. Mm. Brainwave. And um, I just want to give you the quick heads up for this month. I'm still trying to keep my three videos a week schedule. But, you know, I do have a slight other commitment this month um, that, you know, you might be hearing about sometime later in the month maybe what i've been doing in my spare time so just you know i'm just gonna leave it like that we're gonna leave an air of mystery of, of what my other commitment may have been this month um so you know just keep an eye maybe you might want to follow me on twitter also i got rid of the underscore on twitter 
I don't know. I think they must have deleted a whole. I think they recently deleted a whole load of inactive accounts. So I managed to get at Hey Harry on Twitter now instead of Hey underscore Harry. Who wants an underscore? Nobody. I'm trying to get rid of them on all platforms. Slowly but surely, we will get there. We still have an underscore on Instagram, by, by the way. Um, but yes, if you maybe want to follow me on Twitter at Hey Harry or you know just keep an eye or turn notifications on for posts or stuff like that on the channel or maybe go and follow me on tumblr harry-cc.tumblr.com maybe you want to follow me there for you know just possible announcements um later in the month feel free um so yeah i am this this we're being very subtle i think i think you'd give me many many points for being subtle <laughs> but yeah so exciting things to come within the next month that's all i'm gonna say wink wink nudge nudge okay um okay we're on to the bathroom oh actually this is my favorite bathroom uh bathroom in the build i think i this yeah if i could have one like this please could i please I love that. Actually, I really do like the vampire tub. Um, and I've picked it in. It's kind of like got gold accents with white and it matches the toilet that came with Realm of Magic as well. And the sink there is gorgeous. They're really new. I've, I've just got to say again, vampires is, I think, in terms of game pack, I think is vampires my favorite game pack and i don't even like vampires by the way i never play with vampires i played vampires once i even don't look but on the channel there is a hundred baby challenge many a year ago that i started and i turned my founder into a vampire i think that's probably only the second attempt at vampires i ever did with the sims 4 they're just the whole occult gameplay isn't for me so um yeah i but vampires as a game pack loves it. Um, I've been using, I suppose, Discover University a bit more. I do like it. I think more for dorm builds. I've got to say more university themed things. I haven't really done a like a CC free kind of family home to use it in. I think that would kind of be a a good thing to do. But yeah, as we're moving forward, I know I'm doing this bright dress. Brightchester renovation. I still will be continuing um, builds for Brightchester, but then I will be mixing in non Brightchester builds. So I know we focused the first couple of weeks that the game was out, we focused purely on Brightchester um, world builds, but I do want to mix it up now. The kind of initial hype of release has kind of died down. So I want to keep it moving and shaken so it's definitely still brightchester builds i probably would there's probably one every week gonna come out to be quite honest um and as i said the next build is for brightchester as well so the, there you go but um yeah definitely keep it out i've i'm gonna do i'm not gonna do any christmas themed builds this year i've got to be honest nobody actually likes christmas themed builds People request it quite a bit, and then when you when you do one, no one watches it. So, um, but I am going to do a winter themed build, and this is just purely because I have seen this pin on Pinterest for many a year, and it's it's winter and it's gorgeous. In it is an abandoned building, um, but I'm going to have it as a functional building, so I'm it's it's like trees growing out of it and stuff and green on it and it looks all you know how some abandoned builders are just cute af you know when just nature is left to its own devices it can be pretty damn stunning um so i'm gonna try and mix that in but still have it as a functional building maybe we'll just have certain bits abandoned and maybe like a small apartment in one of the areas so yes spoiler alert it is quite a large build um i'm trying to be nice to myself and do smaller builds no still not happening so um yeah that one i'm is probably the only winter build we're going to be doing i think but it'll be it's you know it's worth it it's worth it um but yeah so we're moving on to i think the last room of the build which is another bathroom basically based on the bathroom that is down below it's just 
copy paste and the items but yeah i hope um it's been worth the wait fingers crossed you think it has been worth the wait um i'm just personally i can just breathe now that this one is done the course as i said before there is a link down below in the description box to the Tumblr post that details the CC that you're going to need. It also has the tray files there for download. And also all of my builds, are all every single build that is here on the channel is also up on the gallery. People that can't find it, make sure you tick in the advanced search options to include custom content. Otherwise, all of my CC builds are hidden and it looks like basically I've been doing nothing because I don't have that many CC free builds. Um, so yeah, don't forget to tick that when you are searching for the um for any of my builds that include cc Just the heads up but yeah um we're nearly to the end of this one i want to say thank you so so much for sticking around watching this uh we'll be back up to speed by next week like the cogs will be fully oiled churning moving and i'll i'll be back to not former glory with new glory we're moving forward um so thank you so so much for watching and i will see you very soon bye guys